Very good. Well, best to you. Uh, you have expressed um, respect for Keith Thurman. Let's turn to Keith at this time. Um, as I mentioned earlier, one of the great welterweights in our generation. Why are you moving up? Well, you know, there's a lot of things that can be done. Uh, but, you know, moving up is just something that happens in, in boxing. You've seen it, you know, throughout the years. You know, you guys referenced earlier how even Crawford started at a lighter weight. I just love the legacy at 147, and I just think I milked the cow. I got what I got out of the welterweight division. Um, I fell short of greatness on the night against Pacquiao, still one of my most favorite and memorable nights uh, of my life. You know, when I wear red, red, white, and blue in that ring, um, it's not because I'm a patriot of the American flag, but it's because every time Keith Thurman steps into that ring that I'm living out my all-American dream. I've worked for this ever since I was seven years old. Um, I just remember being told that you have what it takes for greatness, boy. You know, stay out of trouble, stay away from the girls, stay off of the drugs, you know, and all these fighters, all these fighters here, every sportsman, they, we know the sacrifices that we make. And no matter how, how tough it is, at the end of the day, those sacrifices, you know, they make us who we are and they're just, they're truly worth it, you know. Anything worth anything in life requires sacrifice. And I've done a lot at 147. I'm a dreamer. I want to do great things at 154. I want to show the world what type of champion is Keith Thurman. I'm the kind of champion like Ali, you put me back in the ring and I'm going to rise back to the top, you know. Uh, that's what this is all about. People have comments, people have suggestions, people come up with their statistics, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're not with Keith Thurman. They're not seeing my grind. They're not in my head. They don't understand my mindset. And that's what March 30th is all about, is just proving to the world that Keith Thurman was, is, and will be forever and ever one of the greatest fighters in the sport of boxing. Does that mean that should you win, you'll search for the title at 154? You know, it, it, me moving up, I'm just looking for great fights. I've done this in the past. I want great fights. I want great action. Tim Zhu is filling that uh, void right now. He's going to be providing me with the fight that I want. He's providing me with the excitement. He's coming young, undefeated, determined, trying to open up the gates to his new heir, the new generation. But it's my job to close the door shut right in his face. Make him, you know, they don't call him pit bull, but I want him to go tail tuck head down back to his daddy in Australia. I'm sorry, Pops. I'm sorry. The zoo name, I messed up. I didn't know he was that bad. So, you know, I mean, this is just, this is boxing. This is my life. I love the adrenaline. Um, I love you. I love you questioning me. I love you questioning me. Why'd you do this? It's now the moment. Are you sure? Are you ready? Do you need a tune-up? Do you want a warm-up? You know? So, I just, I just love it, man. I love, I love everything about this. I love the stage. I love the action. Main event. Unfortunately, the title will not be on the line, but his pride will be, and that's good enough for me. Any response, Tim? You bring that energy, man. I want that energy coming into the fight because uh, when I do, and mark my words, I will knock you out in under 12 rounds. You can try, my man. You can try, but you're going to get more than energy. You're going to get these hands, baby, all up in your you're gonna, face. You're going to be running. You're going to be running, and I'm going to be catching you like a little gazelle. Your fat feet slow. Oh, man, look, in Australia, you that's see? a small little, that's an island very far away. I did not know flat-footed Mexicans were born in Australia, zoo. <laughs> you Mexican you zoo, what you going to do? I got a Mexican, Mexican zoo. Mexican zoo. 
What you gonna I've a, do? I've got a Mexican style, but Mexican styles are the, one of the greatest styles in the world. So don't be disrespecting Mexican styles. I ain't and lost to no I, Mexican. Do I your do. research. Watch more tape. Don't be running. Watch more tape if you want to debate. Don't be, don't be running. I have not lost to no flat-footed, don't, slow don't be running Mexicans, like, okay? Don't, don't be running like a gazelle. You just right? want me to stand there? Don't be Please running. do. Please let's, let me beat you up, Keith. Let's go. Please let me beat you up. Middle of Can the I ring. punch you in the face? Okay, middle of the Can ring. Can I punch you? Please. Middle Please. of the ring. Let's I'll be go. right there, baby. All right. I'll be let's right go. there. Deal. I won't be hard to find. Beautiful. That's what I want. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.